Hey, budgers. Um, so, last of the deadly sins we've got there, haven't we? We've done six of them. Last one remaining, lust. <laughs> uh, where are we? So, lust, yeah. Um, there are modern connotations to lust, isn't there? You know, a bit of the old <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm not going to touch on that one, really. Don't want to get striked. I'm nearly 150 uh, budgers that have subscribed. If you're uh, not subscribed, please do so. Just press the subscribe button. That's all it is. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, don't want to don't get a strike, you know. Lust. And some get out of hand, can't it? You know. Somebody who maybe ain't all, you know, a few sandwiches sort of a short of a picnic, you know what I mean? You know, and they end up stalking some lass and all that. And, oh, it can end in some bad things, can't it? You know, but then you watch you watch it like I don't know films and stuff, and you know maybe there's a an attractive young lady that you like on there, and you know that's that's fine. You know you find them attractive, whatever, but you don't know the person, do you? You know what I mean? You don't know. There might be nutcases. Most of them are, I think. But yeah, you know I'm go I'm going to leave that side of lust alone, really. I'll leave that alone. Because lust has many things, doesn't it? Because the thing is, with all the other deadly sins, it's kind of like lust is kind of woven through the lot, isn't it? You can lust, you can desire. Desire and lust kind of hand in hand, isn't it? So you can have a, a lust for uh, food and drink. It's... Uh, that's gluttony, isn't it? A lust for somebody else's lifestyle, envy. Uh, you can have a lust for uh, lust for all sorts of stuff, including power. Because when you roll all the others up, you end up at lust. Some of these politicians, aren't they? They've got a lust for power, aren't they? They'll do anything to get it, to keep it. Go to the very ends of the earth to get what they want. Not always the healthiest of things, is it? They get caught out, no doubt, you know. They get caught out, get their fingers burnt. Don't use the brains. I suppose, you know. The lust. I don't think I have lust in that way, really. I'm happy with me a lot, you know. As I've said before, Bodgers, you know. I've got a beautiful wife, family. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't know, some of you are a bit concerned at the end of the last video. Don't know why. Not the impression I was trying to give. But I'm alright. Don't panic, Dodgers. Don't panic. I'm alright. Well, yeah. I don't know. Lust. Lust. It's an hard one, is lust, isn't it? It's an hard one to cover. Besides the old... <laughs> I mean, some of them, they've got, they've got some weird habits, haven't they? You know. But, you know, if it's all between consenting adults and stuff, I don't really see an issue with it. As long as it aren't bothering me, and my family, and all the rest, you do you. Been the running theme as well, hasn't it, really, through this series? You do you. As long as you're happy. Oh yeah, lust. I don't know. I don't know. Lust is a, lust is a weird one, isn't it, really? Runs through all the lot, can be the cause of some of them. But then you end up with lust once you go and mix them all together. I 
I've lusted after cars, maybe, or tools, or something like that. You know. We all like to have Ferraris and things like that, but that's kind of like an envy, isn't it? Lust is when you kind of do anything to get that thing. Is lust behind drug addiction, for instance? You know, you try that jo that drug, and you'll do anything after that to get it. I know it's the addiction. I know it's the drug that's making you feel that way. And if you're on that sort of thing, you know, see if you can find out where you can maybe get off that stuff because it ain't good for you, you know what I mean? I want all my bodges to still be here at the end of the year and into next year. But yeah, is it is it a lust for it? Is it a lust for that lifestyle? I don't think so. I don't know really. I don't know. I don't know. But lust can lead you anywhere, can't it? You know what I mean? If it goes unchecked. You know, that lad that, that thought, you remember the old Jill Dando thing? She was a, she was a, a, a journalist over here, if you're not from the UK, many years ago. And found her dead on her doorstep. And uh, they charged a fella, they charged a fella with uh, with the crime i think they ended up in prison him i don't know tell me if i'm wrong bodgers i can't remember how that i think they did and he served some time and it turned out that he didn't do it they never did find who did it and there was theories you know was she investigating summit and you know all that sort of business went on but when they got to this fella's house he had pictures all over his walls and stuff and no, he, he uh, you know, he was a little bit touched, shall we say. He, he, uh, he, he wasn't living in the same world as us, which, you know, mentally. But yeah, he had, he had pictures of her all over his walls and stuff like that, and he, obsessive behaviours and stuff. You know, started stalking her, I think. But was that lust or was that his mental issues? Bit of a, clear, bit of a cloudy grey area really, isn't it, lust? When you think about it. I don't know, I don't know, lust. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've got a lot to say on lust really, butchers. What do you think? Maybe some of you lust after me. Maybe you're here because you're stalking me. It can ruin relationships, I guess, can it? If, it? if it gets out of hand, somebody finds out, or whatever it is, I don't know. Like I say, I don't really do lust. I don't know. Lust after my wife, which is me. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's pretty girls, there's pretty women, in there, you know. I should say women, not girls, the women. Show some of your butchers. Some of your butchers are attractive, you know. I'm sure you all are. But yeah, lust. Lust. We're lusting after you, and it can get out of hand, and it all ends up bloody eating the fan, doesn't it? Mm. So yeah, don't have a lot on lust, really. Although we're almost up to 10 minutes of this drivel. Again, thanks for tuning in every Friday. But yeah. Tell me your thoughts. Put them in the comments below. Because I really want you to, to interact a bit, you know. And talk to me, you know. Let me know. What do you think lust is? Lust kind of binds all the others together, I think, really. What did we have? We had, we had wrath. Is there a lust in wrath? certainly lead to it, couldn't it? It could lead to wrath. And you don't get your own way or you don't get whatever it is that you're looking to lust after or you 
you know, the, the lady or whatever it is, turn, you know, rejects your advances. Return to Wrath. That's how Jill Dando ended up. So we had Wrath, we had Envy. Envying somebody else's partner or something. Or oh, their lifestyle. Envy. Yeah. Pride. Lust in pride. Is it lust in pride? I don't think so. I think that kind of stands out on its own, doesn't it? That. Gluttony, definitely. Greed, definitely, you know. Along with the power that these politicians lust after comes a lot of money. They get greedy. And, uh, yeah. What else are we missing? What else? What was the other deadly sin? Jesus. I tell you what. Best way to find out, Bodgers. Go back. Find a playlist, I'll link it below. Watch the other videos. You'll find out what the other one is. But thanks for paying attention, thanks for being here and watching this little series. I just thought it'd be something a bit different with the old Bodger blogs, you know. Uh, we're coming up to the end of the year, aren't we, Bodgers? There aren't many more Fridays left, is there, for New Year? I'm hoping to do a little bit more at the museum and stuff between now and Christmas and a bit more with AD on his blowing eight cylinder. Now there's three of us there, you know. That came this year, didn't it? But we'll go into a review of the year, maybe, for the next video. How's that? Because at the end of November, we're approaching December. Maybe even organise like a Christmas special or something, I don't know. We'll try something with AD, shall we? Over on his channel and mine at the same time. Some sort of like a live or something, if we can work that, I don't know. Tell me what you think, Bodgers. Tell me what you think, AD, since it's probably going to be at your house. You've got the brow band. And, uh, yeah, we'll try and work something out. What do you think, Bodgers? Do you want to see that sort of thing? What do you want to see? Well, yeah, th thanks for watching uh, this series. Obviously, it's a seven-parter. <laughs> uh, I hope it's giving you some sort of insight into me and, you know, what I'm about. And uh, if, I can think of it, if you can think of anything else, Bodgers, you want me to cover, right? This no. Bodgers, I'm talking to you now, right? This is important. Pay attention. Like a bit more interaction, you know. The the live the, the live premieres are great, right? We have we have Juzzy and all the all the boys and girls that come and join us, right? Every Friday in the live chat. You're probably commenting below now. But try and uh, like, subscribe, and share the videos as normal. But yeah, to, to, you know, go over to my Facebook. I've got a Facebook group, the Beard Bearded Bodger. You'll see it. And, uh, you know, interact with me there. I'll probably put a little uh, question to you after this video. Uh, I've no doubt either before you've just gone and watched a blowing eight cylinder video or just after you're going to watch a blowing eight cylinder video as normal. Uh, but then go over to the Facebook, The Bearded Bodger. You'll find a question there. I'll pose a question. I don't know what that is yet. And that'll come after this. And, uh, yeah, you know, comment, comment on it and comment on the vi this video. Comment on all the videos. Because, you know, I want to get to know you a lot and all, believe it or not. You know, we're approaching 150, right? I'd like to get there before Christmas. It's only a few weeks away, right? And I don't think we're far off. So, yeah, what would you like to see? What would you like to see me talk about? I don't know. Are you sick of the talking? You want to see me do more stuff? I'm hoping to do more stuff, right? Again, I procrastinate and I've got a lot on, you know. And we've still got a family member that's a bit ill and that takes up a lot of time. But I'm hoping to do a bit more. I'm hoping to do a bit more. And also a bit more with AD maybe in the new year, you know, as things start to ease up and free up a bit. Oh, I also wanted to say, right, uh, thanks to those who saw my Facebook, my personal Facebook page. Uh, yeah, we did lose our 
little canine friend, or not so little. Uh, he was very old, and uh, yeah, we, he'd lived a life. He was all right. He was all right, but you know, his heart was just starting to fail on him a bit, and so we had to make the decision. You know, but yeah, thanks to everyone who uh, who said you know. Who, very sorry to hear it and stuff. It, it meant a lot, you know. He, he, Henry was a special dog, but like they all, you know what I mean? But yeah, thanks for that. Sorry, got distracted. That's like ADHD or something. I don't know what that is. It, I kind of went off there. But yeah, if you want to see Summit, right, and you want me to talk about Summit, maybe your doggy friends. I don't know. You know, talk about your pets. What's the most unusual pet you lot have had? Get on the old Facebook and and, you know, Send me a message if you like through the the beardy bodger page and you know you can comment but you know it seems to have gone well seems to have gone well this seven deadly sins all right uh i'll try and cover other subjects in further bodger blogs but this one was kind of like a special little series i thought i'd throw together but we're here we've got to the end of it and uh thanks for watching you know because i hope you lot watching oh there's no motivation for me to do it um you know because i don't know i could be sat eating a sausage sandwich right now bloody sausage sandwich shop shut in it but no i enjoy it i enjoy it i enjoy talking to me bodgers and you know rambling about now maybe i've got a lust for that a lust for the old youtubes a lust for history, a lust, a lust for exploring. I don't, know. I don't know. Just got to make sure you don't get out of hand. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching all these. I've, I've, I kind of got distracted all then. I passed seven minutes there. I don't know what I was talking about. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Again, is that the lust taking over? I don't know. All I know is, bodges. Is I appreciate you being here. You appreciate the interactions I get. You appreciate watching this series of the Seven Deadly Sins. So until next time, as always, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next Friday.